you're going to the Folklife Festival down at the National Mall, if you're just taking it easy, slow things down, drink plenty of fluids because it's only going to get hotter as you move through the rest of the weekend. Looking for a lot of cloud cover? You're just not going to find it. Sunglasses, you're going to need it for today as we warm things up very quickly. Looking at heat advisories, excessive heat watches, and excessive heat warnings across the Midwest and the Great Lakes, Lower Michigan, Indiana, Chicago area. A lot of people have travel plans there for the weekend, and then St. Louis and Minneapolis, all looking at feels like temperatures. They'll be around 100 to 110 degrees. For us, though, we're going to see things like that as we move into the day tomorrow and then into the day on Sunday. And I would not be surprised that we see some heat advisories for parts of the Mid-Atlantic. None out there, at least as of right now. Going out to lunch, looking at temperatures upper 80s to around 90 degrees. Feels like temperatures will be in the lower 90s, at least during the daylight hours. Once the sun does go down, it will feel a little bit better with those feels like temperatures in the middle 80s. Dining out tonight, it's going to be dry. Barbecuing looks good. Temperatures fall from the lower 90s into the lower 80s by 10 p.m. Sunset time still at 837. Nighttime lows 65 to 75 degrees, mainly clear skies. For the day tomorrow, it's going to be a sizzler. We're looking at air temperatures around 97 degrees, at least downtown D.C. It'll be a little bit cooler off toward the north and west of us. Feels like temperatures tomorrow around 100 to 105. The same on Sunday, and it's going to feel even hotter for the day on Monday with high temperatures then in the upper 90s to close to 100 degrees. Seven day outlook from Stormwatch 7. We're on weather alert for the heat and the humidity as we move into the upcoming weekend. So take it easy. Well, this is a bona fide true to goodness or true. What's the word I'm trying to use here? The phrase. Yeah, bona fide. Bona fide. Bona fide heat yes, wave. A heat wave. Authentic, real Authentic, deal. The real deal. Absolutely. Exactly. With temperatures that are going to be in the 90s, not only for the weekend, but into next week. So a little bit of a break on the way for the middle and end of July. Mm. All right, find a pool, so, yes. find a source of water. Right now, so many are already traveling for the 4th of July holiday. AAA estimating 47 million people plan to drive or fly this year. As we gear up for one of the busiest travel days of the year, 2020 is looking into the nationwide crisis of road rage. ABC's Eva Pilgrim joins us live now with details on tonight's hour. And Eva, this is one of those things you might feel angry, but then when you see the real life consequences, it really makes you think twice. Definitely, when you see how wrong it could go, and very, very quickly. And that's one of the things that we really discovered as we looked at these different road rage cases all over the country, is that oftentimes people who engaged didn't realize what they were doing was going to escalate someone else to do something over the top. And then they find themselves in these very dangerous, often sometimes even deadly situations. So, uh... One of the things I heard from a dad whose child was killed after a road rage incident is that when someone cuts him off, he just says, I love you, buddy, and he thinks about his son. I mean, that's a dramatic example of kind of how to emotionally deal with the anger. What are some other tips that you found from experts about how people can handle the rage they feel on the road? Well, we talked to some police officers and, and they gave us some tips that you can do when you're driving and you encounter things like this. First of all, don't engage the other person. It's just not worth it. Don't make eye contact. That's a big one. Seems so simple, but just looking at the other person sometimes can set them off. Another big thing, you'll see people get out of the car always a no-no and one of the police officers told us whatever you do do not go up to the window you don't know if the person in the other car is carrying a weapon and that quickly can escalate beyond the point that most people are ever expecting when they walk up to a window and and the big tip that we were given but sometimes you have to just be willing to not win. You don't have to win the argument in your car driving on the interstate. Sometimes it's better just to let the other car go. Yeah, there's that saying, would you rather be happy or right? And in this case, it's always better to just stick with happy. We look forward to your report tonight. Thank you so much for that preview. Don't forget, 7 on your side is the only station in town getting you through these holidays in real time. No need to get angry, no need to stress. All you need is our brand new ABC7 Traffic Watch app. It is the best price you could ask for because it's free. Stick with us. We'll be right back. It can affect your loved ones, your job, even strangers. 
you might be one of the millions suffering and not even know it. It has a name, resting squint face. My Eye Doctor has the cure. Our doctor's professional expertise, a great selection of eyewear, and our commitment to maximizing your insurance benefits. My Eye Doctor, eye care and eyewear are better together. Go global and explore Greenfront in Manassas today. COPD makes it hard to breathe. So to breathe better, I go with a Noro. COPD tries to say go this way. I say I'll go my own way with a Noro. Once daily, a Noro contains two medicines called bronchodilators that work together to significantly improve lung function.